The highway distance from Edmonton to Edson is 200 kilometers. Heidi leaves Edmonton at noon on her bike and averages 25 kilometers an hour. Cameron leaves Edson by car at exactly the same time and drives at 100 kilometers per hour. Let's set up an animation where Cameron leaves Edson by car and Heidi leaves Edmonton on her bike. When we play the animation, we see that Heidi and Cameron pass when they are close to Edmonton. This makes sense, since a car is much faster than a bike. If Heidi bikes at 25 kilometers per hour, her distance from Edmonton is 25t. We have to put a little more thought into Cameron's equation. He starts 200 kilometers away from Edmonton, and his distance gets smaller as time passes. We'll use d equals 200 minus 100t. With this equation, Cameron has a distance of 200 kilometers at time equals zero, and a distance of zero when he arrives in Edmonton two hours later. We can graph each of these equations using distance on the y-axis and time on the x-axis. Each graph corresponds perfectly to the animation of Heidi and Cameron. The intersection point of the two lines represents where they pass on the highway. We can now answer both parts A and B of this question using the intersection point. The amount of time it takes Heidi and Cameron to pass on the highway is the x value of the point of intersection. This is 1.6 hours. Their distance from Edmonton is the y value of the point of intersection. This is 40 kilometers. In this question, we essentially had to guess at the x value for the point of intersection since it was a decimal number. Let's look at how we could do this algebraically instead of graphically. At the point of intersection, the y values of each graph are the same. If we inspect the system of equations drawn earlier in this example, we can see that both the blue graph and the green graph have the same y value at the point of intersection. Since the y values are the same, we can use h of t equals c of t to solve the system. Solving h of t equals c of t just means set the equations equal to each other and isolate the variable. When we set Heidi's equation equal to Cameron's equation and solve for t, we get 1.6 hours. We can find the distance from Edmonton by plugging 1.6 into either equation. In this example, we'll use Heidi's equation. Plugging in 1.6 hours for time gives a distance of 40 kilometers. We can represent our answer as the ordered pair 1.6, this is the same point of intersection we obtained earlier from the graph.